hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today we'll do the skin retouching with the camera raw filter so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and at first i'll go to the open options i got raw image from ayon ahmed bhai and thanks a lot to him to provide me this raw photo to make these type of tutorials so opening it up as it is uh, it will open up in camera raw filter just because of that is the rc2 that means the raw mode photo from canon so this one is the panel you know that the new camera raw 12.3 i made a detailed video about this one if you want to get the download link of the camera raw filter that means the new version please check out my video description so at first if we analyze the photo here are some spots and other stuffs and all the thing is good and we'll do retouch eyes lips and the skin so let's get started at first i'll go to the spot healing brush tool dedicated spot healing brush tool in this top side if you press over there it will provide you a brush which is help you out to make the spot remove suppose if you want to remove the spot just click once it will take pixel from the non-affected area and it will be automatically removed it's look like a clone tool but you are doing clone uh, in a clone tool manually or you are doing the clone in a clone tool but in this portion it's ai that means the photoshop's artificial intelligence is doing your work you select this one that means like that if you want to get the spot more highlight here the visualize spot and you can make the spot the white dots are um, spot from here you can remove those portion okay i'm just closing it up and taking and hit the open button here in a photoshop so it will take time and it will open up in photoshop our raw image and our edited image so after that i'll use couple of uh, filters and uh, plugins for retouching i'll take help of the camera filter again so go to the filter again and camera filter or you can do at a time and in that portion so I am using the brushes from here. Okay. This one, if you press once, it will give you anchor point. And if you make the exposure up like that, it will be like that. So select this and it will be effects over there. So in this portion, I'll remove the sharpness a little bit and here the saturation and all the stuffs clarity dehaze and noise so texture i will add some little bit texture clarity i'll make it down dehaze a little bit up now if i brush over there the portion of that so if i brush okay i'm making it zoom for your convenient make the brush size bigger okay when you are brushing you are getting the result that portion if you want to make any portion more smoother you have to drag that portion several times okay Okay, that's good try to brush in one way it will help you out to make the texture precisely done that's good let's see the before and after before after okay fine now i'll go to the basic panel and going to the basic panel here some highlight i'll make the highlight down and the shadow give the shadow contrast little bit and the texture overall texture I'll, okay 
and the clarity i'll add some texture reduce clarity and dehaze a little bit and the shadow i'll give the shadow like that and the highlight i'll make the highlight down and from here i'll reduce the vibrance a little bit okay the exposure a little bit down so here you are getting like that exposure up highlight down okay that's fine and now i'll hit okay from the camera filter now i'll add the dodge and burn in this photo and after that i'll apply another filter from the nick collection so dodge and burning process controller command j controller command j so one layer is for highlight and another lower layer is for shadow okay for the highlight portion you have to make it screen mode right press over there go to the blending options here is the underlining layer find out the highlight area press the alter option button divide the slider and adjust with that okay that's fine and then mask it out go to the image options apply image and hit okay so now shadow layer is on make it multiply blending mode right press blending options from here find out the shadow of the face press the alter option button and divide the slider and adjust the shadow of the face and hit okay and mask it out go to the image apply image and make it invert and hit okay so here the shadow and highlight now i'll make these two layer in a group and giving the name dodge and burn and then i'll make it mask that group go to the image again apply image uncheck the invert option and hit okay let's see the before and after okay that's fine now i'll do something uh, like uh, the eyes work so how to do that take a blank layer make the zoom okay after making it zoom i'll take the brush or dodge and burn process so i'm taking here go to the edit options go to the fill and then i'll go to the 50 percent gray and making it overlay so i'm only using the dodge burn for the eyes not only for all faces or full faces i have done the dodge and burn for the for the full faces with the automated process but i want to make the uh, eyes color dodge and burn with the manual process so here is the dodge and burn if you use burn it will make you or uh, give you the black result i'll use the dodge and making it more smaller and use over there the before and after let's see before and after you are getting the huge change over there so i'm using these three things in a group right press and making it to convert to smart object now time to add uh, some extra effects from the nick collection and if you need you can make it more smooth with your other plugins so if you need i'm going to the filter and portraiture 3 i'll add a little bit of that things so uh, i won't use too much from that and from here i'm using here smooth normal and taking the plus sign and giving the color from here i'm taking color from this portion okay and i'm using the uh, here the unmasked sharpening and brightness a little bit down and down and the contrast a little bit down and tint so here the softness make the softness like that so don't make it more warmer so let's see here 
the before and after okay fine final touch i have given from here and hit the ok button it's taking time to load up and providing you the output now i'll go to the filter again and camera filter now i will adjust the light actually so highlight i'll make it down okay and the vibrance a little bit down add some contrast okay now i'll work with the detailing or uh, like colors so here the color mixture you are getting hue saturation luminance so face color is here the red orange and yellow so the hue if you need you can make it a little bit red type change the hue like that and the saturation a little bit up and the luminance if you make it down or up so here saturation rate i will increase a little bit the orange decrease the orange luminance a little bit up or down if you need and the hue so like that and the shiny look you are getting over there and the highlight i'll make it a little bit down and shadow actually i'll give the shadow down for prominent face color or face okay and the blacks and the dehaze i'm making it dehaze and here you can control the temperature and tint from here if you make this one a little bit warmy you can do that here the hsl panel and hit the ok button i'll add now the filter from the nick collection go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 from here you'll get lots of method and lots of filter actually i'm using the cross processing from here lots of method which one is perfect for your photography you have to choose you have to pick up here l03 is good for me if you need you can increase the strength or you can decrease the strength which one is perfect value give the perfect value and hit the ok button now go to the adjustment and go to the level options from here just the level actually like this so let's see the previous image and after before and after and if we see the main image which one i used in a raw filter so you're getting too much over there or if we consider the before image was like that so it was the before image and you're getting after before and after so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye